Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn about the contact form in the Node.js and we are going to send the mail of that contact to the Node.js. Okay, so those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we have the contact form where we are just adding the name. Then you have to add the email address. So Rajni90 at the rate gmail.com and the subject hello world message hello i need to contact you please help something you can just add and then submit this email has been sent go to the millinator and let try to check just now Okay, thanks for reaching out. Here you can see that name, email, subject, and the message. Okay, you can see that, right? So let's dive into the code level, how we are going to do that. So here we have the code level. So here we have an index.hs file that we are using the node shares for that. So here we have the form. So we are first we take the name, email, subject. Then there is a placeholder where we have a message right any error will come over here any message and submit for the form submission okay so this is first of all we have to create the form so i will show you the each and everything so basic form you have to create action you have to send that is whatever the url that you want to api you want to integrate so action over here right so you need to put over here so send is my action so it, it is in the app.js file so let's review the app.js file you require the package npm that is express you need body parser you need node mailer so here we are defining the port if it is defined in the env then it's then it's okay otherwise by default the port is 3000 okay so egs that we are using okay so here we are using the body parser body parser.json then we are using the app.use for the messages here you can see that the default route is that we are indexed so whenever i hit this one if i go and just hit this one route what happened this form loads so here is dot render index so here we are rendering the index file when there is a slash url if it is this send url you can see that we have configured in the action send right so here when we add this url and when we submit the form this form will come into the action this api send so what we are doing here we are creating the output so what the messages we have to send into the mail okay then here we are going to send the mail using the node mailer. So here we have the function like configurations you have to configure like service, port, secure, logger, debug, secure connection, auth, username and the password. And please don't use this password, okay? And the, here we have a reject unauthorized true. So here we have the mail options, right? So what to from to if you have multiple receivers, then you use the array of that one. Subject, text, HTML output. After that, we have to send the mail. We have a send mail function. Okay, so here we have the send mail. This will help you to send the mail. And after the mail send, which form you want to render or which view you want to render, that is a contact. Okay, so email has been sent. I have just sent in the message to that one. That email has been sent. So this is the contact EGS. Here I am taking the parameter message. I am logging over here, right? So after the logging, that's it. That email has been sent. And when you get the email received, that means email has been, you have, when you have the email received, that means the messages is sent and the contact form is submitted properly. Okay. So this is the full fledged app.js file for the contact form. And this is the index.egs and this is contact.egs file. Okay. So any doubt, any query in that, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.